out of all the Democratic presidential candidates, if you had to be stuck with one of them in an elevator <laughs> overnight, who would you pick and why? This is from Barbara. Um, I would kick it with Hickenlooper just <laughs> so I could find out who he is. <laughs> I'd be like, who are you? What's your story? Um, and then Elizabeth Warren, because she would definitely probably know how to fix the elevator. <laughs> Well, I know how to do this. I have a book on it. <laughs> Did you watch the Fortnite World Cup? Uh, I, I missed it. <laughs> we were writing this show, so I was like, hey, just record it. But it's crazy that that 16-year-old won $3 million. You know there's going to be like a 30 for 30 on him in a few years. It'd be like, what happened to Kyle? <laughs> he blew all his money on Mountain Dew Code Red and Doritos. <laughs> do you guys, does anyone here play video games? Nobody, just you? <laughs> Why are people so embarrassed? Do you play video games? I, I'm, I'm amazed that only like a few people play video games. Or they, nobody plays Fortnite? Say what? People used to play when they were younger. Say what? People used to play when they were younger. Right? Uh, same here. Yeah. But then, like, wasn't that crazy when you look at like the total number? Like how much revenue it gen... It's... That I couldn't believe. That was wild. You played all the time. Played? Past tense? Played. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, your love of the NHL is higher than video games? <laughs> Man, the NHL joke really rubbed you that, like, you were like, fuck, okay. <laughs> You're like, endemic sexism, all that stuff, that's fine, uh, farting, humping, cool. NHL, though, dude? <laughs> I, I just said the NHL's happy to be a part of the crap. Damn. All right, all right. You play? Why, why are we so embarrassed about this? This is not... Dude, this whole thing has become like herpes. It's like, we're just not gonna talk about it? All right. Everybody has a game on their phone. Yeah. But not like traditional video games. But, so, okay, who, okay, who plays Fortnite? Our son plays. Okay. Does he freak out when you pull the iPad away? Yeah. Uh, I've seen so many meltdowns in airports. You, oh, ha after you saw the $3 million? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you Indian? Oh, yeah. That's such an Indian parent thing to say. <laughs> like, after seeing how much money you can make, I... I <laughs> All right, which president from past to present time would you trade places with and why? This is from Sally. Um, I would say William Taft. <laughs> I read that he had a huge bathtub. What would be the way you would dictionary depict an Indian fuckboy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is from Preeti. Um, I don't know. It'd be like it'd be like uh, someone you know who's like with like a lined up beard, and they're like really into sneakers and and into black culture and. Uh, I don't know, they think liking Jay-Z gives them a personality. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, this is good, I like this. Uh, what's your take on Brexit? Um, <laughs> I think the Boris Johnson thing's hilarious. He has to deliver by Halloween, he's not going to. I, I just think that, like, as Indians, we should just be celebrating. This is karma, baby. <laughs> There's, there's any people in his, in like, in his staff, right? In his cabinet. Which to, which to me, that, I mean, that's just beautiful. I'm, to, what, you, what's your theory? I think that they're doing the long play. No, but both of them on, like, the home secretary and, like, the other guy, like, Sajid Javid, they could sell their own a little bit. You think they're crazy, but what if, what if this was a 70-year long play? <laughs> Right after partition, they're like, hear me out. We're gonna, our family, we're gonna move to London. I'm gonna get up in that cabinet. And she'd be like, yeah, yeah, we should totally separate. Like, don't you think it's just great payback for colonialism? <laughs> you don't see it that way? I'm like, you think they're awful. I think they're sleeper cells. I'm like, oh, I see, what, I see what's going on. What are you most hopeful about for your daughter's future? Wow, all right, you guys, you guys are, you guys are writing some deep ones. Um, I think the amount of women getting involved in politics is such a cool thing that she's getting to see. I mean, she can't. She's, 
What if she was like, this is awesome. <laughs> she can't even talk. Like, <laughs> she like takes out her pacifier and she's like. <laughs> um, but no, and it's a, still, it's a small percentage, but like you were saying, you know, the AOCs, Ilhan's is cool. I have a question. What's that? I, I, th I, think, I think of that all the time. <laughs> I think about that all the time. I'm trying. Because I was here yesterday at rehearsal and today, and I noticed like about three times where you're like, Fuck. trying to go for it or like trying to take your hand off. Yeah, I wish it went down to here. Yeah. But, then it would, <laughs> but then it would look weird. Like I'm like. <laughs> Dude, y'all are ruthless. Like, can I live? Like, Eddie, like, I'm out here doing full on these, and now you're just calling me out on my finger placement? Please. Dan, comedy in 2019, am I right? Like, my pocket placement? I think it's simple, but then I'm limited, I'm limited in the number of pants I can wear. So maybe I should like go back from like your first season and uh -huh. tally up the number of pants. Tally it up. <laughs> Be like, these pants were great. This doesn't, what, what, what if the solution was just sweats? I just wear sweats. I'm like, here up, sweater, just sweats done. Everyone's like, what's up with them? But is, do you see the way he puts his hands in his pocket? Do you feel like your popularity has changed or changed your views? You feel like my, the popularity has changed me? Oh, I thought it was a statement. I was like, is it? You, what if you guys met backstage, you're like, I'll talk to him about his pocket. You talk to him about his, <laughs> Uh, has changed me. This is, you guys are, this is getting like super deep. Did my sister call you? <laughs> call him right now. He doesn't call mom enough. He doesn't do it enough. <laughs> Pockets, you think I've changed? <laughs> you, think, you think I've got... Because I feel like if you had changed, you would have thought about the pockets. Oh! <laughs> Yo, sometimes I just gotta take the L. I take the L. I concede, I concede. Do you like the stripe though? You like the stripe? Oh, uh, come on, you gotta give me something. I can't live. I can't, I can't win. I can't win. You gotta take this up with wardrobe. <laughs> you know what's crazy? War you know, um, a philosopher named Tan France once told me. Uh, fashion is about feeling comfortable in your own skin, and I feel comfortable in my own skin, even with, yeah, in my own skin. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. What do you have against Carnell? Oh, so you wanna know the full, the full story? So UC Santa Cruz is just one of the jokes that we've made on the show, it's like a running joke. Did you, did you go to SC, Santa Cruz? No, 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 I just uh, that joke. But it's a, running, it's a running joke on the show. And, uh, and then, we were doing a big story about the Ivy Leagues, and so one of, uh, one of our associate producers on the show <laughs> went to Cornell, and I was like, you're smarter than me. Like, what's Cornell's ranking in terms of like, all the Ivies? And she's like, it's kind of like on the lower. And then I'm like, oh, so it's like the UC Santa Cruz <laughs> of the Ivies. And she was like, hey. But she was a really great, good sport about it. I came from India, and, and, and then you, the day I landed you at the episode ad, yeah. <laughs> Why did you get destroyed? Because you represent all of Cornell? <laughs> you know what's crazy? I did, a, I did a, that UC Santa Cruz joke, and then this guy came after me online, and he was like, hey man, how dare you make fun of UC Santa Cruz? I have to go to job interviews. You need to change your opinion about our school. And then he goes, lives are at stake. I'm like, damn, you can't, you can't make fun of Santa Cruz, Cornell, the NHL, people. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Eldest, are you kidding me? Um, yeah. Do you think, yeah, she's my older sister, so I would have this question. Do you think the younger sibling actually gets it better? Yes. 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 <laughs> that is such a younger sister <laughs> question. Oh my God. Next, what? Yes. What are the, the benefits of marrying a Patel besides the free hotels? <laughs> no, it's beautiful. Uh, we have a, like, I have a huge family. 
<laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of people that are like, I'm your wife's cousin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I now love Babaji. Babaji's great. <laughs> great. What's up? What do I have against Nylon tea? You use her in your skit like twice. That's our mom's name. You just needed a really great auntie name. Nylon tea is a great, it's a great, it's a class. I know, but it's so specific. It has a nice ring to it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like for an uncle name. Irfan is a great name. Like, Irfan, like it just has a good ring. I know. I. You know, if I've learned one thing, this is, can you record this for the podcast? If I've learned one thing today, I've learned, I have a lot of faults that, that, that Eddie, I got to change about myself. I got to change my pants. I got to change my position on the NHL. I got to stop making fun of Cornell. And Nylon. And Nylon.